to the fourth video in our five-part Step Into Your Star Role video series. By now you've met your brand of joy, and how fantastic is that? Um, you've learned to discern between realistic projections and inner critics, and you've also created a casting call of the people that you will want to have to support you as you step into your star and role. So now we're going to look at just one of the many, many tools that I share in Step Into Your Star and Roll, specifically in the Bolstering Your Authority thesis um, part of the work, which is really all about facing the beauty of your credibility as it exists now. It's so easy to hang on to the ancient criticisms of family members and old bosses and those crappy kids on the playground from when we were children ourselves. Um, so that when we hear from somebody that we admire or respect or care about or love and they say something about our talents, our beauty, our genius, our radiance, we go immediately to a place of yeah buts, dismissing and deflecting. And this is absolutely the work of the imposter complex. But I want you to have something else to hang on to. The truth in those words, believing in them, trusting in them. That's the key to helping you unlock your shine. The not so secret secret is what I call creating a yum and yay folder. So, so I want you to create in your inbox a folder called yum and yay. So every time um, an email comes in, a thank you email, or a Facebook comment, or a tweet, some sort of acknowledgement that makes your heart go yum or yay, that goes in that folder. And we can get started immediately. You don't have to sit around waiting for those to come in because they're already here. So do a search for words like thank you, or grateful, or awesome, or anything that's going to start to um, reveal those thank yous that are already here. Before you shove them on in that folder though, make sure you read them. Make sure you read them out loud. And then notice the words that make you sit up a little bit taller. Luminous, brilliant, masterful, inspiring. And sit with the truth of that. Then do a next search, uh, do another search in your inbox for those hot words. Then I want you to send up a silent gesture of gratitude for the person who has sent that to you, the gift of what they see in their heart about you. And now I want you to think about three people that you admire or respect or trust that you are in relationship with. So think colleague or um, friend, um, maybe somebody you serve, a client, and I want you to send them an email asking them what they count on you for, and then offer them your truth about them. It feels so good. So the kind of email that I send often, because it's totally aligned with my brand of joy, like you can hear that, right, would look something like, or sound something like, dear, blank. You know that I love, trust, and admire you and your opinion. I'm reaching out for that reason to um, see if you'd be willing to share one. what is one thing that you absolutely count on me for. And you might be interested to know that I am always inspired by you. I think you're a beautiful model of generosity. Um, you say, do what you say you're going to do. And for that, I am deeply grateful. Love, Tanya. So that's what I do. So find your own variation, write three of those emails, send them off. And as ever, this is one more lesson in non-attachment. If they don't get back to you immediately, please don't make up that it has anything to do with you. It has much more to do with their busyness than anything else. And when you do get that response, make sure you read it, you read it aloud, and it goes in your Yamanier folder. And now to shine some of that beautiful light on others. Send three more emails to three people that you admire. You're not asking them for anything at all. You're just sending them a heartfelt acknowledgement for the way they model something beautifully for you, or they inspire you, or they make you think. And just notice what shifts for you as you even write those emails. Simple, heartfelt. And I want you to remember that that person, that other person is also you. What you admire in them lives within you as well. 
and maybe you prefer to actually have something to hang on to. So go ahead and create an actual physical yum and yay folder, starting with a very simple file folder, adorn it with magazine clippings and dried flowers and glitter, anything that makes your spirit come alive. Delighted is what we're going for here because I want this to be something you come back to time and time again. So gather up all those thank you notes that have been shoved into various drawers and notes and bring them all together and put them in your folder. So this is actually probably the first yum and yay folder that I created for myself before I knew what I was calling it. And so take a moment often to go back and really be with the truth that somebody else has offered you. Because it was a gift. We need to be cherished. And it's somebody else's truth. And the more truth you receive, the more truth you can take in. And so when the day comes that has you doubting your competence, your abilities, your talent, your magic. May these folders serve as touchstones and reminders for the truth of who you are. Tomorrow is the very last video in our five part Step Into Your Star Roll video series. I do hope you'll join me then. Thank you.